Oh, I see you're back again. Glutton for punishment. Just don't let the bouncers throw you out again. me drinking out of my pineapple. Frozen Lynchburg lemonade. Mm, ever since I was at the uh, Jack Daniels distillery, I kind of got addicted to this stuff. This is wonderful. Especially on a hot summer sun. Wow. So we're set back up in Dave's bar again for round three. Yes, sir. So uh, we got a pick. Three of Dave's whiskeys. So we got our randomizer here, and we're going to hit it and see what we can get. Kentucky Owl, batch 12 on row three. Not that one. Here we go, Kentucky Owl, batch 12. Interesting. Okay. Contestant number two, Sam Houston, 15 year, also on three, also behind me. Well, that's weird, right next to each other. And one more time, 2XO, Gem of Kentucky, single barrel 20, uh, single barrel 21. Row two. Not there, not there, not there. Oh! I need a head on a swivel. There we go. Barrel number 21. That's what it meant. So we got our three uh, whiskeys for tonight. Let's get set up and we're going to get right into tasting. Dave's Whiskey! All right, uh, we're gonna go right to left, like we normally do. And we're gonna start off with the 2XO Gem of Kentucky, Gem of Kentucky Single Barrel, barrel number 21, 108 proof. Oh, I don't have anything really to uh, Cleanse the palate. I'm going to use a trick that Dave taught me. I love that trick, Dave. He says he does it every night. Did I get it all? <laughs> all right, we're ready. Gem of Kentucky. You know, I love the 2XO tribute. We're going to see if I love this gem of Kentucky. Wow, that is a powerful aroma. I'm getting a lot of oak out of the aroma. I really am. I mean, traditional bourbon notes, brown sugar, baking spices, maybe some vanilla. Yeah, that is a lot of oak coming off of it. Wow, cheers. And a lot of oak on the uh, palate on that first sip. Definitely uh, uh, some rice spice going on there, some pepper on the tip of the tongue. Not very sweet, rich, but a lot of oak. Mm. Let's take another sip. That is, that is fairly spicy. Uh, a lot spicier than I remember the uh, uh, tribute blend. <laughs> oh, best thing Dave ever told me. Wow. Okay, well, uh, let me uh, write down some information here. Okay. On to our next Sam Houston 15 year bourbon whiskey, 103 proof. And before we get this, like I said, Dave is our benefactor. And if you've not met Dave, 
Uh, he's kind of like one of these elusive billionaires. Um, he'll show up on a show every once in a while, but I think really it's a body double. I don't think it's really Dave. I've seen some old pictures of Dave, and I'll, I'll put one over here. This is an old picture of Dave several years ago. I mean, like 60s and 70s. And then later on, when he started to become famous, he had some work done, work done. And uh, this is what he looks like now. Oh yeah, ah, that's actually what it looks like. So if you see him, that's Dave Vogelsang. Oh, getting back to our show. Sam Houston, 15 year old. You know, I've never had any Sam Houston. And I assume because it's named Sam Houston, uh, is it a Texas bourbon? You would think it would be. Very traditional bourbon notes, fairly strong aroma, but I mean, brown sugar, molasses, pretty strong vanilla note coming through. It's very nice. Cheers. 103. It tastes proofier than that. I get a little bit of ethanol on that first sip. Hmm, let's take another one. That went away and I'm left with a kind of a nutty taste. I always kind of say it's kind of like an MGP or a Jim Beam. It's a little sweet. I actually say moderate sweet. It's not that sweet, but uh, nice baking spice going on. Definitely vanilla, cinnamon along with that. Brown sugar, molasses. I wish it was maybe a tad sweeter, but it's got a good traditional bourbon taste and definitely a, a good mouthfeel and it does taste like a mature bourbon. It's 15 years old. Uh, a lot of complexity going on in there and uh, um, I thought it might be real oaky for 15 and it's not. The oak is mild in this. I'll take another sip. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Let me write some notes down here. All right. I didn't tell talk much about the finish on the uh, Gemma Kentucky. Uh, it, the palette went into the finish. It just wasn't great. Nothing to write home about. Um, that rye kind of stayed with me. The Sam Houston, on the other hand, though, uh, I'm getting baking spices, especially kind of vanilla and cinnamon going on there, and it went into the finish along with a little bit of sweetness. The palette transfers to the finish really well. I'm a fan, Sam Houston. The more I drink it, the more I like it. All right, we're gonna cleanse the palette again. I ain't got no water up here. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> I used to do that as a kid. I'm not sure I've done that in 30 or 40 years. Yeah, I'm that young. Wow. So now, Kentucky Owl, batch 12. You know, I only have one, one Kentucky Owl, and that's the St. Patrick's Day or St. Patrick's edition, which uh, they, had a, they had the help of, I think, an Irish whiskey blender. It doesn't mean it's, Irish, it's got Irish whiskey in it. They just had the help of an Irish whiskey blender. And I thought it was pretty good, but Kentucky Owl has always been pricey. Now this uh, smells more like the Sam Houston than the Gem of Kentucky. Although I got uh, something else going on in here. Almost like a raisin or cranberry dark fruit going on along with the molasses and brown sugar. And a little bit of oak. Cheers. Oh my. Well that 115 proof, you definitely taste that proof. And it got a boatload of spice that hits you, tip of the tongue, across the palate. 
lights you up with pepper. It does. Mmm, take another one. I'm not quite sure what to think about this one. It's rich. I don't know what the age is. It doesn't taste as mature as Sam Houston. That proof comes through. It, it, you drink every bit of that 115. It's, it, to me, it's like drinking uh, Old Force in 1920. You know what's there. But I get no ethanol flavor. I get no ethanol burn. Wow. I like it. Mmm. Oh boy, which one's my favorite tonight? Let me make some notes and we're gonna get right into that. Hmm. Um, on the finish on this one, I'm still tasting. It's got a very long finish. Uh, uh, it's a, I think it's a little bit oilier than the uh, Sam Houston. And the finish is fantastic. I mean, um, I'm not big on a peppery finish. It's got a peppery start and a peppery palette, but I don't like a peppery finish. And the baking spices and the dark fruits, like I said, a raisin, a cranberry, something like that. Dark fruit along with that molasses brown sugar sweetness. It's a very good finish. In fact, it's a fantastic finish on the Kentucky Al Best number 12. I really love the finish. I think I might like the finish, better than the palette, although the palette was good. So tonight I'd probably have to rate it. I, I'm really a little bit disappointed in the Gem of Kentucky. I actually like uh, my Tribute Blend better than the Gem of Kentucky, and I know the Gem of Kentucky is like $100 more. I, I know I've seen it around $199, $200, and the Tribute Blend around $99, $105. I'd rather have two of the Tribute Blends than one of the Gemma Kentucky. Any day. Sam Houston, what can I say? The more I drink it, the more I like it. Uh, if I can find the Sam Houston 15 year, I think uh, I think I probably would buy it. I, I, a 15 year old, I don't know, it could be real pricey. I don't know what the prices are. I don't, can't look on the bottom of the bottle and tell you. I haven't done my research tonight so because we just pick them live on the show. Um, and the Kentucky Owl surprised me. I thought I would like, mm, it's actually better than the St. Patrick's edition. It actually is, batch number 12. So as far as uh, favorites, Sam Houston, Kentucky Owl, Gemma Kentucky. Gemma Kentucky, I gave it three stars. I just, I don't know, maybe because I was disappointed it got lower. I was thinking about three and a half, but no, I, three and a half is something I, I it's kind of like a, my threshold for buying, and I'm not going to buy it. Uh, Sam Houston, four and a half stars, the highest of this series. We've had three rounds now. Uh, that's the first four and a half, I believe. I'll go back and check, but I believe I'm right. And the Kentucky Owl, four stars. I really like that finish. But that Sam Houston, it came close to knocking my socks off. And knocking my socks off is five stars. And five stars gets Dave Vogel saying, you know, that picture I just showed you. <laughs> Let's show it again before the audience. That gets Dave a Georgia, probably be a bourbon, I mean, sometimes it could be, like uh, Return of the King is actually a whiskey. It's absolutely fabulous. We hope you will like this video, comment and share, and we hope you like the music in the background. Yep, that music is dedicated to Dave. A little bit. It, the, the music's actually called Shot of Tequila, and I just thought, well, that's great. It's Dave's Dive Bar. It's not Dave's Whiskey Bar or Bourbon Bar. It's Dave's Dive Bar where people come to get toasted. Well, maybe just me, right? So we hope you will like this video, comment, and share. I think I already said that. And as always, please drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And I'm going to grab my Sam Houston here. And we'll see you next time 
in Dave Steinbar. Oh yeah.